Hey everyone, my name is Michael. I'm the customer success lead at Xano, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a feature called Subpath, which really comes in handy uh, if you have a response with a big JSON object and you want to be able to parse through that response uh, to get to the data you want um, to manipulate it, to loop through it, to uh, do whatever you need to do in your logic. Um, so what I'm doing right here in this demo API endpoint, I'm just doing an external API request to this Star Wars API that gives me data on the planets in the movies. Um, so for example, if I go ahead and just simply run this, uh, you can see that I get this big API response back, right? So I have things like request, where I have the URL, headers, I have my full response, in, and then in my response, you can see I have my results. And maybe I want to work um, just with the results, right? Because this is maybe the data that I'm trying to work with. So we can use um, a feature called Subbath to be able to allow us to uh, correctly navigate through this data um, in order to get uh, the results we want, right? So when I return this API call here, I can simply hit this copy result as JSON, um, and that'll just copy it to my clipboard. And now if I go ahead and add a new function stack item, and if I go to data manipulation and hit create variable, what I can do here, I might call this something like uh, results we want, let's say. And then when I go to the value, what I'm gonna do is, um, right where it says my variable that I just copied that result as JSON, so this API one, there's this blue subpath button next to it. So I can go ahead and select that. And then to define the subpath, I can first just paste this in um, and then hit define. And now I can go ahead and open everything up. So you see there's my request, there's my response, there are my results. Um, and then you can even see the uh, schema inside each object. So I can go to exactly uh, where I want to go to. So let's say it looks like I wanna go into the response, results, and then results. So if I click on this results uh, array of object in here, uh, Xana will automatically populate the correct dot notation for me. Uh, so we don't have to worry about messing up or any typos if it's some, maybe some new data I'm not familiar with or just a really big path, right? So now if I save this, um, let's go ahead and return that variable now, results we want. Um, the great thing is now we can see that we have just our results. So we got rid of all that unnecessary data uh, very quickly. Um, so this definitely comes in handy when working with payloads from uh, external API requests. You could also do the same thing um, if you have a large, say, um, query uh, within Xano. So I'm just going to hide this. I'll just show you this real quick. I'll do query all results. I just have a user table. Um, pretty simple. And let me go ahead and just return uh, user one now. So you can do this really with any response. Um, obviously this one's a lot simpler. I can copy these results as JSON. Um, let's go ahead and just create a new variable real quickly. Same methodology with the subpath. I'll just go ahead and select subpath for my user one var. Um, I'll go ahead and just paste that in. I'll define it. And you know maybe I wanna go to an exact person's uh, city like we'll we'll choose Paulina here. So it'll even find that index right there. You can see that's index three uh, Dot city go ahead and save that and we'll go ahead and just return uh, Var one so this should just return me. Uh, I believe that was uh, New York There it is. So yeah, as you can see subpath very very useful um, especially when dealing with a large response needing to uh, get to the part of the data that you exactly uh, need, whether you're adding that to a database, pushing that onto display somewhere, or even need to do some kind of manipulation on it. Um, the subpath is very helpful. So hope that was helpful. Um, please like this video if it was. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updated on uh, more new content. So thanks for watching, guys.